It's time! Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Good stick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, uppercut will snap the head back. Nice counter. Try to establish that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point this to the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows come to the ribs. The jab goes out, and the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Volante's right lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Knee to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai slot. Single collar tie now. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's near you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Volante gets caught with that punch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses there with the left. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Epson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, so wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Big punch from the clinch. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. And he switches his stance yet again. Good. They continue to exchange. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Second round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Now connects with a right. Volante's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, big knee there. Oh, collar tie. Big knee lands right through the corner of the pitch section. Big kick lands. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the Nice punch by John Volante. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even as the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one, so he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful kick. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big elbow there. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, both fighters. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh! Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Preux has got to like that transition there. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights.
So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, John Malonte! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.